The female mummy of the Princess of Shaohe has lain in the sand for thousands of years. With a small basket beside her body containing a packet of ephedra, a herbal remedy for the cold and other ailments used by the people of the Shaohe area 3,500 years ago. Many traditional Chinese medicines, such as ephedra, taste bitter. Still, people look for ways to make the medicine delicious, and Chinese medicinal cuisine is one such way. Master Zhou has been cooking medicinal food for 20 years. Every morning, he goes to pick fresh herbs to prepare for the day's feast. To turn fresh medicinal herbs into delicious food, you need not only the fresh ingredients, but also to combine them using the right recipe. Generally, the medicinal ingredients can be ingested as both food and medicine. The medical combinations must be measured in precise doses by doctors of traditional Chinese medicine before they are turned into food. Agastak and tofu soup requires a skillful chef. They need to cut sanchi leaves and tofu into pieces as thin as human hair. Aloe by itself is sticky, bitter and sour, but after being treated with water, it becomes smooth and refreshing. Deep fried, it turns crisp on the outside and tender on the inside. This recipe calls for pouring tomato sauce over the aloe, giving it a delicious sweet and sour flavor. stack has a special flavor. After being steamed and then fried with chicken meat inside, it would still retain its nutritional and medicinal properties while having the perfect mixture of aroma and flavor. The thoughtful combination of food and different medicinal ingredients after stir frying, steaming and stewing can turn bitter tasting medicine into delicious dishes. Chinese最著名、最经典的一个方剂叫做桂枝汤。那这个方呢，它被称之为全方之主，是由我们商朝的宰相，那他同时也是一个厨师，一一他所发明的。那这个桂枝汤呢，里面用的药就是桂枝、